Okay, so this is a quick video to give you some ideas about how you can build bone strength at home. So we're going to do a couple of different postures and along the way I'm going to show you um, some modifications for those postures. So don't necessarily start with the biggest posture, work your way up. You'll want to be working to holding the postures 30 seconds for a minute up to two minutes possibly, maybe even more if you're feeling like you're getting stronger. Do what feels right for you. Always important as you're doing the work to engage the abdominal wall, drawing the navel in slightly, always reaching out through the crown of the head, making the spine as long as possible. So the first posture will be Kumbhakasana, plank posture. The full version looks like this hands spread wide and pressing yourself up. You'll press through the heels, keep the shoulder blades back and down. The eye gaze is straight down toward the floor. The abdominal wall draws in. Good, the tailbone draws down toward the heels and you really wanna press your hands into the floor. You'll feel all that work coming up through your arms and then pull the hands in toward one another. That will also help to engage the pec muscles and other muscles around the body. The modified version would be to come to the knees, shifting the shoulders slightly forward, drawing the tailbone down, pressing the palms down. Here you can even press your feet and your knees, shins toward the floor as well. The next stage after this would be to walk <clears throat> the hands forward, <clears throat> Lift the feet off the floor, you might cross, squeezing the legs together, pressing the palms down, reaching up through the crown of the head. So all different versions for working plank posture. Now, if there's a problem being on the hands, you can adjust that by bringing yourself down onto your elbows, threading the fingers together, here you want to work to press the forearms into the floor, pull the shoulders away from the ears, hug the belly in and reach up. And then you're just hovering as best you can, pressing the floor away, hovering over the floor. So that would be one option for kind of full body work. You'll also look at Vasistasana, which is side arm plank. And again, lots of modifications for this. One of the keys is to feel as if you're pulling everything up into this underarm area where your teres minor is and your serratus muscles are in the side body. To get into your side plank, you might come into plank, slide the hand in just a little, roll to the outside of the bottom foot, top foot comes on top, lift the hips, take the arms up, head in a neutral position. You might start by looking down or forward, eventually looking up, lifting the hips, drawing the shoulder blades together, reaching down into the palm, reaching up through the fingers and holding. To modify this, top foot can come in front for a bit. Okay, holding here. Then you might also choose to drop the bottom knee down. Top foot comes in line with the hip, toes point forward, really looking on at pressing into the hand, lifting up through the opposite hand. The eye gaze can look up straight ahead or down. Navel draws in the whole time. Anytime part of you is touching the floor, think of really reaching down into that part of the body. And of course, you'll want to do that on both sides. And that's your tutorial for weight bearing work, sidearm plank and plank.